Hey friends, Jill Heinerth here, and today I'm going to give a little review on the Hollis STS Elite single tank system. I'm pretty excited about this unit that Hollis just sent me because I think it's going to be perfect for a lot of the work that I do when I'm just wearing a single scuba tank. I was really pleased to begin with with the packaging because it's uh, packaged inside a reusable bag with very little plastic. There's a little bit further to go for getting rid of that plastic packaging, but uh, good, good effort. So the STS uh, Elite comes pretty much assembled, which is also awesome because sometimes units like this just come with a big bag of parts. Now, this particular one that I got has a 35 pound lift wing. They also have a 22 pound lift wing if you want something a little bit lighter for travel. But for me, I'm pretty thrilled about the larger, well, uh, larger capacity wing because I've chosen the stainless steel backplate option. So this six and a half pound stainless steel plate means that I can wear a little bit less lead on my belt. And as a cold water diver, I'm wearing a lot of lead. So this is really handy. I've also chosen the Elite Harness because I like the quick release buckles and the easy adjustability that's available to me. Again, because you know, I'm wearing a dry suit a lot of the time with very heavy undergarments, but I also want to use these in warm water places when I'm wearing a lightweight wetsuit. And in that case, I've got to cinch down everything quite a bit. So this offers me the ultimate in adjustability. Now, I know there are some naysayers for these heavy quick release uh, Delrin buckles, but I have to tell you, I have never managed to break one in over 30 years of diving. And I would argue that if you're worried about one of those failing, then jump in the water with the STS Elite. Undo one of those buckles completely. You could go for an entire dive. This thing is not going to fall off of your back because you've got a chest strap, you've got the other buckle, you've got the waistband, everything's held in place. So I think that's really kind of a silly argument and I much prefer that over the one piece webbing that can be a little more difficult to get in and out of, especially if you're in a hurry or in an emergency. Now, some of the other features I like, I love the chest strap because especially for women, you know, our shoulders are kind of shaped like this and shoulder straps want to fall off our shoulders because, you know, our shoulders are a little narrower and shaped, right? So that buckle is very handy on the uh, chest strap and you can move it wherever you want it so it's comfortable it's not in the way of like a dry suit inflation it's not in the way of your boobs if you're a woman uh, so there's ultimate adjustability here now the other thing that's nice with the elite harness is that rather than a straight piece of webbing you've got like a pivot point right and so if you've got that pivot point like below your breasts and then moving back further on the waistband. It makes it very comfortable for a woman and leaves as much real estate possible for getting to D-rings or adding things like the quick release weight pouches, which again are quite handy to me in the winter time when I have to wear a lot of weight to sink all of the undergarments in my dry suit. I like these uh, newly designed weight pockets. They're quite secure. In fact, I think I could use them for like accessory pockets, maybe when I don't need the uh, lead weight. So maybe I can carry some scientific gear in there. But this is ultimately customizable. I mean, the back plate has holes where you can use those as attachment points to hold things like you know, a cave diving canister light or perhaps a suit heater battery or any other number of things like a lift bag, a safety sausage, that sort of accessory equipment that you might only need on occasion and you can just reach back and grab. So I would say well done on this entire unit. You've got very um, well-built um, sewn 
featured harness with a crotch strap for keeping everything very secure. Uh, for me, those are two good choices in lift capacity in the wings, 22 or 35, and then having a lightweight plate for travel or a heavy plate for getting you under the water with less lead, I think is going to be really handy. So uh, well done. I know I'm going to enjoy this and uh, you'll see it featured quite a bit in some of my summer expeditionary and science diving. So thanks again Hollis for creating another great product and sharing it with me. This is Jill Heiner. Please join me again and if you enjoyed this material please like share and subscribe. We have lots of things on our YouTube channel. See you next time.